Hi there, this is uh, ON7OFF and this is the fourth video in the series from Zero to Hero with the Hermes Light. Um, so uh, we finished last video by installing Thetis and also by adding a nice skin to the Thetis software so it becomes a little bit more beautiful. And uh, the next step is actually preparing your TT software so it is able to talk with your Hermes Lite. I have a fresh copy of uh, Thetis here, so let me just first of all explain you. The first thing you need to do is connect your Hermes Lite Ethernet uh, with the computer. Uh, so better use a UTP cable between the Ethernet of your computer and uh, the Ethernet of your uh, Hermes Light uh, radio. Um, do not use the Wi-Fi. Uh, I prefer that you just the first time that you start the Hermes Light, directly connect the Hermes Light with the computer to avoid any issues and uh, it will become too complicated to troubleshoot if uh, something goes wrong. Here is just a simple UTP cable and uh, there is no other um, things that might interfere. So uh, also be sure that your Ethernet port is supporting one gigabit connection. So I recommend to first of all, let me just move this screen here a little bit uh, to go to uh, when you finish doing the connection, going to the network and Internet settings of your Windows go to Ethernet and make sure when you go to the information here uh, that you have a 1000 megabit connection. Uh, it is uh, and Hermes Lite is very bandwidth hungry and it requires about um, let's say uh, 40 to 60 megabit per second of bandwidth. Okay so it's very very hungry as far as uh, bandwidth is concerned. Let me just move the screen a little bit. The next thing you need to do is configure uh, the Thetis so it's compatible with the Hermes Light. Go to setup and uh, once you get to the setup menu go to general, go to HVW so which means for, um, stands for hardware select and in the radio model select Hermes Light Next thing is to change the region and uh, enable or keep the extended disabled. Uh, be aware that if you change these settings of region in the future, it will have um, consequences on the uh, channels and frequencies that you have been saving in the memory bank of uh, Thetis because um, of course changing region might also have consequences on the frequency that you will be allowed to use. Now I'm in Belgium. Belgium is not in the list so I'm going to use Europe here and I'm going to click extended. The extended feature uh, depending on where you are and if you are allowed to do so. I am a class A license so I can do so but uh, this means that you will be able to transmit out of band for example also on 11 meters or whatever frequency you want to have between 0 and uh, 38.4 megahertz uh, with the Hermes light. The next thing you need to do is go to FW set which stands for um, the uh, frequency bandwidth um, that uh, you will receive. I recommend to put it at 48,000 for the first run uh, before you start your Hermes Light. I will increase these uh, sample rate settings after I finished doing the test with the Hermes Light, but uh, I prefer that you just enable the uh, Hermes Light um, sample rate only to 48,000. Um, the next thing you need to do is go to Options. And here you can type in your call sign. So uh, I'm going to put my call sign here. It's just a little beauty trick because it's just going to display your call sign in uh, the um, window here of Hermes Light. Uh, next thing uh, you want to do is go to OC control. This is quite important because this will actually control the filter board as you have built the Hermes Light. Um, you have added the main board and next to the main board you have put the uh, filter board. This 
little window here will actually control the relays on the filter board and it will tell which filters should be used. Now, um, Mike uh, India Zero, Bravo Oscar Tango has added a little button and it's just a matter of pushing the button and the configuration will be done automatically. Okay, so um, if you uh, do not have this button because you're using an older version of the TT software, just copy the settings that we have right here. Next thing you need to do is go to PA control, uh, power uh, amplifier control, and you need to enable the power amplifier. This is to be able to transmit. Okay. And then the next thing you need to do is also go to, let me see, um, antenna filters, it's not here. There is one more option. Oh yeah, it's right here on top. PA settings, power uh, amplifier settings. This here will define the output power of your Hermes light. As you know, Hermes light is a QRP radio, 5 watt. And these 100s, they represent actually uh, the uh, power output in percentage, so 100%. So for example, if I have a, let's say, LDMOS amplifier and the LDMOS amplifier uh, has a maximum input power rating of uh, 2 watts, I could eventually put it at uh, 40%, for example, and uh, then I will have more or less 2 watts of output maximum, even when I in the front panel I put the power to the maximum so I'll let it um, put I'll put it back to 100 because I want to have my full 5 watt output and uh, that's basically it so um, the next thing you need to do is to click on OK of course and now you can turn on your uh, Hermes uh, light by pushing the power button here in Thetis you should hear a few clicks uh, on your uh, Hermes light and when you see it's rolling, that's a good sign. It means that you have currently a receive. Um, now, what you have to do next is to enable the VAC. VAC stands for Virtual Audio Control, if I'm not mistaken. So you go here and click on the right button here and it will bring up the setup menu right away to the VAC tabulator here and as you can see VAC is disabled so here you have to define which input device will be used as a microphone for your Hermes light so if you have an external microphone in my case I've got an FDUS microphone here connected to the USB port I will select the FDUS and as we have configured in the previous video, because this is so important, if you don't follow the other video, so I refer to the video number three, I think, uh, please uh, follow that video because you need to be sure that you have a sample rate of 48,000 on the device that will be used for the Hermes light, and they need to match. And then you can also select the output uh, uh, um, audio, um, so, and here in this case, I'm just leaving the Microsoft Sound Mapper, which is my default speakers of my laptop here. Um, at the same time, um, also enable allow space. Sorry, not um, here is it. Bypass VAC for recording. I will enable this one. Uh, allow, I think, allow space to override bypass. So, Enable this one as well because it's going to enable the space bar as a PTT button, okay? So as a PTT toggle button, okay? So um, then the next thing you need to do is enable VAC. So normally you should already hear something. Um, you hear that I'm getting some uh, weird noises, but that's because I'm listening to CW in AM, okay? So... Let me uh, decrease the volume output because this is our X number one. And um, because I want to go to the phone section, I am going to USB here and I'm going to change my steps to one kilohertz and 
I am going to see if I can find a station somewhere. Okay, let me just go around to uh, 7.120. Oh, I need to go to LSB, of course. We are on uh, 40 meters. Okay, there you go. So, um, huh, he's just talking about the NN. That's good. Okay, let me just uh, decrease the uh, audio output here. Now, if you hear the sound and the receive is perfect, the next step I recommend you to do is to increase the bandwidth. So go back to setup uh, over here, go back to general, go back to uh, FW set and put it at uh, 9600. Click on apply and OK. You will see that the bandwidth that you will receive will be larger. OK. Have a listen and uh, listen if everything is still OK, if it sounds OK. And if it sounds OK, go back to setup, go back to uh, general uh, the uh, frequency bandwidth set and put it at 19,200. Uh, do not go beyond 19,200 because the processor in the Hermes light is not capable of handling 38,000, sorry, 384,000 uh, bandwidth. Um, it will cre create problems when you transmit. Uh, so uh, be aware of that. Do not go to 38, sorry, 384,000, but leave it at uh, 192,000. Let me click on apply and OK. And the next thing I want to do is, let me just change the band. I will go to 20 meters, for example. I will increase the output. I am in CWU, I'm going to USB. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just move the slider around and try to find the station. Okay, we are at, uh, let me see, there's some activity here. Okay, now you see jumping around. What I'm doing is using the um, little rotary dial on my uh, on my mouse here. If I move it up and down, and I position my mouse in the waterfall and uh, scope here, you will be able to actually tune up and down with uh, the uh, button here, uh, the rolling button on your uh, on your mouse. So it's very handy. If you do not have a mouse and a mouse pad, well, you will have to use the two fingers, I guess, to move up and down the frequency. So um, the next thing I will do is actually uh, position uh, my receiver somewhere in the middle of the 20 meter band and you will have to do this with uh, every band okay and I'm going to ZTB which means zoom out to the maximum so when you click here okay you have zoomed out and I'm going to make sure that I have the section that I'd like to monitor let me see I've got uh, yeah up to 330 uh, 14330 and I right click here I right click on ZTB so this will save this setting uh, of the zoom out control okay uh, so now you will be able to visualize easily where are the stations and go up and down okay so um, if you want to try to transmit uh, you can click on the MOX button, okay? So you click here and you will start to transmit, okay? Uh, and uh, this is very essential because now you will be able to check if you're able to transmit with the Hermes light. If you do not have any microphone connected or issues with the microphone, you can also click on the tune button and uh, I recommend you to put uh, the power drive to halfway or even to the lowest position it's up to you and then you will be able to transmit okay and you will see here the power output and this will send a tone you can also use the dual tone or you can use this one here so it will uh, go into transmit mode okay so um, this is basically uh, how you can make this work with your Hermes light the next video will uh, be more in details regarding on how to fine-tune your Hermes light 
and uh, uh, make it uh, easy to cruise around. So thank you for uh, being on this uh, tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, eventually give me a comment. I would greatly appreciate. 70 trees from Oscar November 7, Oscar Foxtrot Foxtrot, and see you in the next one.